Rivalries are an essential part of football. Some rivalries are created through geography. Other rivalries are created through conference ties. But how many rivalries are recognized by one school and not the other? More specifically, how many rivalries were invented by the eccentric Bob Diaco? The story of the UCF-Connecticut rivalry, or lack thereof, is loaded with awkward moments, shade, and a missing trophy, all bundled into the short gridiron showdowns between the two schools. First, we need to know how this all came to be. Let's take it back to 2014. Bob Diaco was in his first year as head coach at UConn, and things weren't going too great. His squad was 1-6, with the lone win coming against Stony Brook, an FCS school, by a final score of 19-16. UCF, on the other hand, was flying high. They were 5-2 overall and 4-0 in the American Conference. George O'Leary was in his 11th season as the Knights coach, and he was coming off a Fiesta Bowl in 2013. All signs pointed to UCF cruising to another win. The previous season, UConn was obliterated by the Knights 62-17. But like every good movie, there was a plot twist. UConn upset UCF 37 to 29. UCF had more total yards, but four interceptions helped seal the win for the Huskies. That UConn victory snapped UCF's 11-game win streak and was their only conference loss of the season. On the flip side, that would be the only conference win of the season for Diaco's squad. In the post-game press conference, Diaco threw down the idea of a rivalry trophy. To me, I would like to create a rivalry game out of respect not not at one out of out of um you know silliness or you know out of respect that that i think the conference needs and just like that the civil conflict trophy became a reality notice the lettering the fl is capitalized for florida the ct capitalized for connecticut you can't make this stuff up apparently though the schools didn't pay for the trophy Dihako paid for this gem with the money in his own pocket. In 2015, Connecticut took down Central Florida again and got to keep the Diaco Finance Trophy. But in 2016, UCF finally got the win against the brainchild of the civil conflict. But the Golden Knights weren't excited to lift the trophy. In fact, UCF refused to recognize the rivalry and the trophy. They've held that stance since the trophy was brought into reality in 2015. When Diaco was sent packing from Connecticut after the 2016 season, the trophy went with him, apparently. Last November, UConn Athletic Director David Benedict said that he hasn't seen the trophy since Diaco left. Poor Bob Diaco. He tried to make a rivalry happen in college football, even bought a trophy for it, and it didn't catch on. Though reportedly, Diaco's eliminated the whole experience from his mind. However, he has not eliminated it from our minds. So I guess Bob Diaco did get his rivalry after all.